I'm back here now. Uh, I've got this great exercise that I'm really looking forward to sharing with you uh, that's going to help your body learn how to separate uh, the segments from your lower body to upper body so that you can gain some speed and some power in your golf swing. So what you're going to need to do here is uh, get an elastic band. Now, these bands here, you can buy them at pretty much any fitness studio or, or sports shop. Uh, they don't cost very much, but I want you to get one with some good resistance here. Not a really big loosey-goosey one here. I want you to feel as though this is really nice and tight, okay? So, what we need to do now is get this band and we place it around our legs. So we step into it nice and easily here. And I want the band to be somewhere between your knees and your ankles, okay? The further down it comes, the more challenging this exercise is. So, what we need to do now is to take our golf posture so we're bent over from the hips with a nice neutral spine, placing our hands on our shoulders. Feet facing forward. I want you to start by disassociating and separating your upper body from your lower body. And we do that by taking side steps with this band, okay? So, nice big side step as our upper body turns the opposite direction and then it plays catch up. And I want you to try and do it in both directions so that you're actually getting some symmetry in your body. So you're actually sort of balancing the muscles out so it's not just one side you're, you're activating constantly, but there's both sides activated here. Now, I usually try and get golfers to do this uh, fairly regularly because uh, consistency will, will really help you with this. It'll teach your body how it needs to move and activate the correct muscles to do so. So I usually say 10 side steps and then back again, facing in the same direction so you've got the symmetry and try and repeat that three times. Wait, so what's gonna happen when you're doing that? The first few steps you'll be thinking, no big deal, right? But uh, once you start getting towards the end of the exercise, you're really gonna feel, especially your glutes will be activated. There'll be a lot of activation there in the muscles. They'll be probably a little bit overworked in the beginning, but the more you get used to it, the more the less, less challenging it'll be, and the more your body will be ready to work uh, with this disassociation, the separation that is necessary in our golf swing. All right, so the next exercise I have for you is more of a warm-up. So when you're out on the driving range or if you're heading off for a round of golf, it's more just to get your nervous system firing and to get your body loosened up so it's ready to move, so that your lower body and your upper body are ready to move separately. So there's a disassociation that can help you gain your speed and power in your golf swing. So what you need to do is, again, in your golf posture, I want you to try and take these little side steps as your lower body is moving in opposite directions. Okay, we call them karate okies. I don't know why we call them that, but it's a great exercise here. The faster you go, the more challenging it is. Again, 10 steps in one direction, 10 steps in the opposite direction. Try and repeat that three times as part of your warm up to get your nervous system and your body ready to go out and rock and roll on the golf course. Stay tuned, the next exercise I have for you is gonna help you to coordinate this disassociation and separation in your body segments, in your golf swing, so you can gain more speed and power.